Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. And today we're heading to the Bulge 1944 for a game of bolt action. Tonight's mission is going to be a custom mission. It's going to be called Tiger Hunt. And the Americans are going to be facing off against the Germans. And they're going to be tasked with destroying a Tiger II as their main objective. So before we start uh, their mission briefing, let's talk about the terrain real quick. Uh, this will be the first time we're using our new Geek Villain self cutout roads. So if you didn't see it, I did a, a little review video on these. The other day, um, I can post a link to that in the description, but uh, these are them. Uh, we cut them out and we put them over our new Road to Moscow mat, also by Geek Villain. So we got uh, all Geek Villain mats and roads, and uh, pretty cool. So thanks to Mac for sending those to us to use here on the channel. We really appreciate it. So um, as far as other terrain goes, we got some dense terrain here. We got some over there and some there. And then these craters are going to be soft cover if you're in the in them. And we got several types of buildings. We have intact buildings, which are going to be here, here, and there, which is pretty much a winter version of the rat bastard. Oh, and, and another one here. And those are going to be hard cover. And then the uh, all of these blown up buildings are going to be just uh, rubble ruins, I guess, not rubble. I forgot which one it is, but not the one with all the crazy rules. Just hard cover, and they will be. Um, dense terrain as well so we're not going to be able to see through them. Other than that we have a couple of these haystacks which everyone says looks like cakes which I guess they kind of do but they're just going to be uh, line of sight blocking terrain nothing more and that should do it for terrain. Let's talk about the mission. Alright so the uh, Tiger Hunt cu custom mission is something I just came up with. Um, hopefully it works out. Uh, these custom missions are always kind of hard to balance so we'll see how it goes but uh, hopefully it'll be a good game. But essentially the Americans are going to be starting on that short board edge. And the Germans are going to be placing the Tiger here in the crossroads. And they're going to be able to place two units, either two infantry or an infantry and artillery within 18 inches of the Tiger. And the Americans are going to pick half of their forces to come in first wave. And the rest are going to come in reserve. And outflanking is allowed as I think it's going to probably be necessary to take the Tiger out. And then the Germans, the rest of their reinforcements are going to arrive uh, from this board edge here. So they're going to place two units, the rest come in reserve, and of course the Tiger will start on the board as well. And it's going to be low fuel, uh, so it's going to have, uh, every time it tries to move, it's going to roll a D6. If it rolls a 1, he can move, and then he's out of gas. If he rolls a 2, he can move, and then move again the next time, and then he's out of gas, and on a 3+, plus, he's okay. And the uh, Tiger is also going to have two order dice, and it's going to make it even more deadly. So it's going to have a red order dice and a standard German gray order dice. Um, so if the uh, red order dice comes out, then he can use the next gray one to activate twice in a row. Uh, he could always use a gray one to activate before the red one comes out, but if he wants to activate it twice in a row, he has to have that red one come out after the gray one. So just a way to... Uh, Maybe slow it down, maybe uh, give it a good buff uh, to do two things. Uh, the Tiger's going to be able to do any, there's not going to be any restrictions on the Tiger at all. It can fire twice, it could do whatever it wants with those two order dice. So that's how the order dice are going to work for the Tiger. And that's how the deployment's going to work. And the objective is to destroy the Tiger. If somehow the Americans wipe the Tiger out with some lucky shot somehow, or do something and just kill it, then the objective is to clear the rest of the Germans out of the village. And that'll do it. Let's look at the forces. Start off with the American force. This is 1,145 points, 11 order dice, and this is taken from the Battle of the Bulge selector. So we're going to be starting off with our uh, lieutenant, and this is going to be a regular lieutenant, a uh, regular first lieutenant, uh, Lieutenant Chris Reed, and assisting him is going to be his radio man, Alan Downs. Then we're going to have two full strength regular squads. Um, the gray one is going to be uh, commanded by Will, Will Bossman. The black ring is going to be commanded by Rick Seabalt. So we're going to get some of our old guard in here to, to um, be leaders uh, for some of these uh, squads and stuff. So we got Bossman and Seabalt, and there's all rifles, one BAR, one SMG sergeant. And then we're going to have two veteran squads. So the veteran squad, this one's going to be commanded by Brandon Woods. This one's going to be commanded by James Shevlin. And there's two BARs in each, uh, SMG Sergeant, and these both of these squads are going to have anti-tank grenades. Uh, so for some more AT, we have two bazooka teams. So the first bazooka team, the sitting bazooka team here, is going to be commanded by Ian Campbell, or that's he's in charge of the bazooka team. 
and then the second one's going to be uh, Martin Kirk. So bazookas, um, not really good against an armor 11 vehicle at being only plus five, but if they can outflank and maybe get a flank shot on it, it's possible to do something. Um, moving on, we have a 57 millimeter AT gun commanded by David Stotzenberg. We got a light mortar, which I guess I didn't give a command to. And then we have a medium machine gun team, which I guess I didn't give a command to either. So uh, all this is regular. Everything's here is regular except for these two squads. And then we have an M10. So the only thing that can take out the um, Tiger II from the front with one shot would be the M10. It's got a heavy AT gun, which is a six, and the Tiger's got an 11. So if he hits it and he rolls a six, he can penetrate it. All the rest of this stuff, not so much. Even this gun here can't even destroy it from the front. So uh, I think it's going to come down to, well, if it doesn't come down to one lucky shot, it's going to come down to um, getting a lot of glancing hits and either catching it on fire and having the crew run off or maybe even immobilizing it twice, which will destroy it as well. So it's going to be tough. I've, I've given the Americans quite a bit of AT, uh, AT assets, so two, two veteran squads with grenades, two bazookas, 57 mil gun and an M10. So they're gonna have all that dedicated to try to kill this Tiger. And that'll do it for the Americans. Let's take a look at the Germans. We have the German force. Uh, this is 1,088 points and eight order dice. And everything in this list is regular. And in command, we're gonna have left or Lieutenant Nils Vesterman and his assistant, uh, Sergeant Tomateo. They're gonna be armed with uh, SMGs. We have three regular here grenadier squads, eight men each, SMG sergeant, two guys with assault rifles, and then um, two Panzerfaust, right. uh, MG42 on tripod, light howitzer, and then the Tiger with this two order dice, and then a multi or half track truck with a machine gun on it. So that's the uh, Germans, and the uh, this is where the balancing part comes in. Um, I'm Half of me, or part of me thinks that I should even give them less stuff than this with the two dice um, Tiger, but I don't know. I don't know how effective the Tiger is going to be. I mean, it can shoot its super heavy AT gun twice a turn if it wants to. So it could do a lot of damage or it could not do anything. Um, it's 500 points with low fuel and an extra order dice for that. I mean, how much is that worth? That, that could be worth a lot. So, I mean, maybe I should have taken more stuff out. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but they are low on order dice. They have a lot less infantry, just a lot less everything, but they do have a tiger two with two order dice on it. So that should make up any difference, um, for them. So that's it for the Germans and probably let Andre be the Germ uh, Germans this time because it's going to be a lot less stuff to do, a lot less stuff to control and command. And as we know, Andre is a slow player. So, uh, this should help him out by having less stuff to do. So that'll be it, and once Andre gets here, we'll get started. So Andre's here, uh, the Tiger is placed in its spot here in the intersection, and then Andre's placed the light howitzer here, and he's placed a squad up in these ruins here. And for my first wave, I'm going to be bringing in the M10, the machine gun, the light mortar, um, two regular squads, and then the officer. And then the AT gun, two veteran squads, and the two bazookas are going to be coming in Reserve and then close your eyes, Andre. So I'm going to be outflanking uh, one of the bazookas from here, one of the bazookas from there, and then the AT gun is going to come in over here as well. Oh man, a bazooka on each side? The veteran squad and another veteran squad. <laughs> Can I open my eyes now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm outflanking a lot of stuff because that's really the only chance I have is to hit this thing on the flank. So most of my force. Well, almost, yeah, the whole the whole reserve is coming in out flank. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's it. So Andre's, uh, the rest of his stuff's going to come in reserve. It's going to have to come in from this back edge here. So first die, Andre. It's a German die. And he'll put the Tiger on ambush. Probably a good call. Another German die. What else to do? <laughs> uh, Andre's just going to put his reserves down. He's only got two, two other things on the board besides the Tiger, but it can activate twice. And it's an American die. Okay, so I just brought, uh, who is this? That's the gray base, so that is Bossman. Bossman's regular squad is running over here. It's pretty safe. There's no Germans over here at the moment. Germans again. 
Uh, something, put something down? Uh, we'll go on ambush. Okay, ambush with those guys in the building. Americans. Ooh. So I brought in my machine gun, ran here. And Andre is going to fire the machine gun from the ruins in that squad up there and it's on Overwatch. Did you want me to measure that? Yes, you can. I'm pretty sure within 36. Hey, look, some hits. It'll just be long range. If we're in uh, range. Yeah, you're good. So four hits. Okay, four hits onto the machine gun team. Running in. Actually, you're supposed to roll those, but... Uh, Two dead. Man. Ouch. Yeah, because they're in the open. That is painful. Yeah. <laughs> and a shock. Uh, so I have to take a leadership test or a morale check because I lost more than 50% at minus one. We do make it. So we're down to one guy here. Woohoo. So a nice overwatch. Hey, right. you're almost pinned. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't be pinned. You're thinking of a chain of command. All right, next guy. Uh oh. <laughs> So it doesn't matter if I double your. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter, does no, it? No, they have to reach their uh, yeah their level. So it's hard to pin stuff out in this game. Well, uh, unless you got Gurkhas <laughs> or, or something with uh, D6 HE like this thing. Yeah, um, I can't quite see them. All right, so American die. Had uh, Seabald, Rick Seabald squad has run in here behind the cover of that dense terrain. So next die, Andre. And you Americans again. again. All right. Brought my light mortar in on over here next to Bossman. Americans again. So I got my M10 and Chris Reed, Lieutenant Reed left, and then all my reserves. So I'll put the, uh, I'll put something down. So going down with the reserve. Going down with the reserve. Going down with the reserve. Come on, man. I have some gray here. Oh, good thing I. <laughs> I'm glad I stacked them all on the same side of the bag. Jeez. There you go. So you'll go down with something in reserve, I'm assuming, again. So that's three, I got two more. And then this is my last thing in reserve, so I should only have two, two dice left. All right, um, I gotta bring in my M10 or my Lieutenant. Got Lieutenant Reed in uh, and Alan Downs over here. Help them, they're gonna be on their own. The machine gun's pretty much toast. <laughs> Got moved down by an MG42. Yeah, don't worry about the trees. I, I can't say I'm a huge fan of the uh, trees. I, I need to rebase them. Yeah. Okay, so and the last thing is my M10. That should be my last die, I believe. Uh, we got a red and a gray left. Okay, so the red is your second uh, tiger one. Okay, so the last thing is my M10. I just uh, my last die was uh, Wild Bill and his M10, and he just ran up this way. So Andre's got left his howitzer, and then one more for the tiger, which really has nothing to do. Uh, unless it moves. You could move. What's my movement on a road? We'll let Andre think about it. So Andre's moved the tiger. He He's claiming to have taken pity, pity on me by not driving up and shooting my M10. Well, so he's gone that way. All the eggs in one basket thing. But uh, you're low on fuel, so you got to roll a D6 and oh, see I what happens. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. So just don't roll a one or you're stuck there. A three, you're good. I'm good. Okay. I'm good. He's got enough fuel. Okay, so we got the, uh, plenty of fuel. the tiger has moved over there. And I think that's it for turn one. So we'll move on to turn two. Here we go, turn two. Americans. Okay, so if I can get up here, I can get a rear end shot on that thing. Yep. Uh, all right, American dice. First American die. I was about two seconds away from having <laughs> Bossman run up. And that realized Seabald over there was about to get Obliterated. a three-inch template from that. All he had to do was move up like to the edge of the road and a three-inch template, heavy, super heavy AT gun. So instead, I was able to remember at the last second and I moved them behind that dense terrain so they're now out of line inside of that King Tiger. We're very proud of Travis for not screwing that up. <sighs> that would have been bad. That would have been bad. <laughs> that would have been really bad. And Andre was even talking about, okay, three inch template, can I get on? I, I even came over here and measured it just so it wasn't a surprise to you. <laughs> All right, well now I can move Bossman because Seabald is safe behind the trees. Now I've moved Bossman up. Uh, he's just run up here, stay in the corner of this building, try to stay out of line inside of that uh, LNG and those ruins up there. Next guy. Americans again. I'm gonna put something down. 
Okay. These guys are coming in uh, from outflank, so uh, that can't be up until next turn. So you can start bringing in reserves if you like. Or I can put these guys on ambush again. Yep. I gotta try to remember who, who was coming in on what side. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember now. Well, that that's convenient. <laughs> and I can just do whatever I want. Yep. Uh, okay, so And I won't against. know till I watch the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh man. Now these guys can't move because you put them on ambush. <laughs> They're just stuck here. No. Or this what guy. do you mean? What's this those guys? Yeah, this guy. That guy. <laughs> this that guy can't. Guy. That guy can't. He's do that anything. guy. All right then. Um, I'll fingers think of something. So uh, while Bill and his tank have uh, advanced up here, next to Bossman's squad, and we are going to fire at those guys. So uh, no long range, just uh, moved and hard cover. So needing a six. Come on, Thompson. Nope, he misses. Okay. Another American die, man. So uh, yeah, we'll just put one of them down and then he drew the red die. So that means that he could technically do something two times in a row now if he wanted to because he got the red dice first, which means the next gray die he could also assign to the tiger if he so chooses. Gray's king tiger has just uh, moved again. He's really pushing his luck with this fuel. Nope. Push, push. That got means I got Nick. I, I found a depot. Yeah, there's a jerry can. <laughs> <laughs> Inside the old That'll get me another back. 50 feet. <laughs> five king, five right. gallon can. Next die, yeah. I think they measured in gallons per mile with the tiger. <laughs> uh, that's Germans again. So, you want to bring in some reserves? Um, actually, probably. Okay. Got some reserves in, and he ran one of his regular here grenadier squads up behind that building there. So, next die, Germans again. He's just gone on ambush with the tiger over there with his second die. Next, next die. Germans again. So you still have a squad. You still got Vesterman off the board and then your machine gun and your multi or half track. Other than that, uh, they're on ambush, they're on ambush. And all of this stuff all is that's out flanking? Yep. Even the big gun? Yep, everything. <laughs> I can't remember what side I said that was coming in on. Shit. That's interesting. I think it was, man, no, I can't remember. <laughs> well, I honestly didn't see, so I can't help you. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I just knew there I was a bazooka. I remember. I knew there was a bazooka on either side. <laughs> All right. So we'll and if Andre I'm wrong in. about that, uh, yeah, well. Well, I don't even think what he wants to do. So Andre's brought the half track in, and the half track is going to be Vesterman and Timoteo, along with the um, regular Grenadier squad, and they're up here now. So next day. Germans again. So you have your machine gun I'll off the put, table. I'll uh, put those guys down. Okay. Yeah, they ran, so they can't. I'll put. Put the second. The other down. guys down. Okay. So you're almost done, huh? All. Uh, All you got left your machine gun. I think so. All right, the last uh, Vondre's die. He ran his, uh, or he just advanced his machine gun into this crater. Next die. Next die, or a bunch of American die. So I'll just do all my stuff, and if any shooting happens, we'll, we'll break in. Moving, uh, Lieutenant Reed has run up, sort of the mortar, but um, Lieutenant Reed ran first, and he is gonna fire his machine gun that has range, just has range on Reed. Uh, should we get some cover for that tank, or do tanks give cover? They're shooting through the tank. We'll give it soft cover. Well, or I hit him, uh... Yeah. Well, okay. then he, he's only in range when he gets right there. Oh. <laughs> You're just within 36, literally, okay. when he gets right there. Then I guess uh, soft cover is good. So we'll say fives. Five, so six. that was two, or just one? Needing fives? Yeah, I think you had two. Okay. So needing. You got one. Oh boy. Could be Reed if you get another six. Oh! Lieutenant oh. <laughs> Reed has been taken down. Uh, Sniped by a machine gun. No. That's not good. My lieutenant's dead. He's a first lieutenant, too. Man. I gotta take a morale test. We do pass the morale test. So Ooh. Alan Downs, the radio man, is going solo for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what do I have left? Uh, just a bunch of stuff in reserve and then that machine gun. So let's do a... Uh, 
Order check here. Seven, we do pass. All right, so uh, poor, poor Chris Reed got taken down by the machine gun, which that machine gun's pretty good. Took out <laughs> two of the machine gun, took out Reed. It's, uh, it's doing all right. But uh, in the end, um, this one man machine gun has run just in between these buildings here. And other than that, everything else is in uh, outflank over there. And that's it for turn two. Top of three. Now my outflankers can start coming in. If I can remember where I said they were coming in from. <laughs> hey. All right. Um, well, do I have Wild Bill move up? Probably should. And fire at those guys in the building. I'll have to think about this one. So I just, uh, first thing I just moved my, I ran my motor up to the edge so I can, we can see each other now. Oh, we can? Yeah, because I'm right up at the edge of it. Oh. So you okay. can shoot at me. Thanks oh, for letting me know. That machine gun. I didn't hell. know that. <laughs> okay, another American dice. So I've had uh, Bill Thompson and his M10 has driven up here and we're going to fire at those guys. They're a real pest to me up there. So needing a six. Come on, Thompson. Oh, oh yeah, we got it. All right, so they're hit with a, I believe a two inch template. So, looks like I can probably get those three, three of them. Uh, I'll figure it out. Three of the guys, I guess it's those three guys there. Um, plus two. So it's gonna be uh, anything but. Uh, one but, but two sixes. Ouch. Come on, let's kill that damn machine gun. No, no. but two dead. And then I believe it's D3 pins. Three pins. Nice. So two dead and three pins on those guys in that building. So good job to uh, Wild Bill there on uh, a successful firing at those guys in the ruins. So next die. Germans. Hey. Andre just moved a small tier up. Okay, so Bill Thompson has done his thing. I still got downs now, just the lone RTO out here. And then I've got um, Bossman here. So I've just had, uh, is that Bossman? I'm sorry. Yeah, that is Bossman. Bossman squad is a uh, run up here. American dice again. Brandon Woods and his veteran squad have advanced in. So they three feet up, so they're up to here. And I have two BARs and these front two riflemen can reach that howitzer. So I'm needing sixes. Uh, okay, so that's one. That's two. Two sixes and a that's seven, seven, Andre. Nice! nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next die. Germans. He has run the squad that was back here into the building. Which I could have done last turn, but... We could have done last turn, but things change. Things change. Americans, uh, okay. Hmm. I got my one man machine gun team over there, and then over there I got Seabald squad, which I'll probably, yeah, I'm gonna move them up. Seabald and his guys ran up along the edge here. I'm safe from the tiger ambush because that Maltier is in the way. Next, Americans. I just had downs. Solo RTO move up. Another American die. All right. Um, so I got one of these here. Bazooka. You got four dice in the bag. Yeah, and those are all stuff that are um, in outflank right now. Okay. So four dice in the bag on top of what I what I have in my hand. Correct. Oh, these guys. Yep. You know what? This guy is going to just kind of slide over. slide over there. Okay. Next die, Germans. Just had his MG42 in the uh, crater there going ambush. So he's got that side well covered. Another dice, so he's got, what do you have left? Uh, the, you got Vesterman and a squad inside the Maltier and then these guys who have three pins on them. Gonna rally that squad, no problem, right? Yeah, he does pass. So D6 do I get all on. three? Yep. Yes. Pin free. Next die, Germans again. So you got the two guys in the trucker. And that's essentially all you have left. Plus one for the tiger, right? The red one? Yeah. Okay. Does this rifle get a shot too or? 
You have a rifle in there? Well, with the... Oh, uh, no. He's the, uh, he's the AG. So the uh, squad has gotten out of the malt here, and the only ones that can see are the machine gun and the two SMG, or two assault rifles that they're going to fire at them. Uh, just need the fours. Oh! Three hits. Wow. Look at that. Pretty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you got one. <laughs> <laughs> you got one guy in a pin. Alrighty. Alright. Not as good as it could have been. Certainly. Yep. Yeah, yeah. But, still a pin. Well, at least they can't activate next turn. Yeah, more than likely. <laughs> okay. Uh, next die, Andre. Americans. Okay, so all I have left is stuff in reserve. So the tiger is just sitting here looking right at my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right at me here. We heard a noise over there. So I could bring someone out as a sacrifice. <laughs> or I could just wait a turn and move up another 12, which I'll probably do. And be point blank. Yeah. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm definitely going to, I'm not going to bring something in at three feet because I'm going to get the uh, super heavy AT gun to the face if I do that. Uh, but I do have stuff that can come in over there still. Ian Campbell and his bazooka team run into the crater. Americans again. All right, I'm going to put one of my stuff, one of my things down. One of my outflankers down. Which one? Uh, the bazooka. The other bazooka team. Martin Kirk. What? They're not both coming in over there? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I figured out my uh, plan. Oh, look. Uh, the other... Double secret ambush. The other tiger... The other tiger dice. Um, okay, I got to show you here, Andre, with your hat. It is, it's kind of cold here. <laughs> the hat is like for a mid, uh, not a, the hat is for a very small headed Soviet. <laughs> not, uh, not me. Maybe a woman. It might be a woman's hat. It's, uh, it keeps me warm. It's keeping me warm. <laughs> okay, so we'll let Andre decide if he wants to do anything with that tiger. All right, so Andre's brought up, uh, He's decided to move. He's moved the tiger up. He's gonna fire that Seabald squad. Oh! oh, it's a miss. No, it's not a miss. I'm out of fuel. He's, oh. oh, oh, that was your fuel move? That was yeah. my fuel move. So he's stuck there for the rest of the game. Oh, oh. interesting. Yeah, okay, so now you can fire. Okay. <laughs> uh, still miss, he'll still miss. Yeah, he still missed. Oh. The dice gods don't like you deciding what the dice roll is after you do it, Andre. Uh, I actually just... Okay. I, I'll reverse. <laughs> you reverse it? I would happily uh, actually, take yeah, that, that miss th on the uh, first the roll. The three would have been okay. So he's stuck here for the rest of the game, which is interesting. I thought you knew I was rolling. Oh, no, I no, honestly no. Uh, didn't think about it being a one roll uh, shot. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, he's only going to... Yeah, he's foregoing the... Uh, this because of these guys, but he did fire the cannon. He needed a four because he moved and he missed. So next die. Uh, Americans, I'll put, oh man, do I bring my other squad in now? It's tempting to bring, I think I might just for fun. James Shevlin and his veteran squad decided to come on now and the ambush from that machine gun over there is gonna fire on them. Even fours. So two hits. Three. Three hits. It's just long range. Two down. Roll that six again. Black dice. Uh, two veterans killed. Uh, Alright. Now we will fire onto these guys here. Just for the hell of it. Alright, here we go. Uh, needing threes because of the pin. Missed three. I'll take it. Okay, so pin on them and see if I can take some of them down. <laughs> <laughs> One down. Hardly yeah. worth it. Jeez. What a piece of crap that was. Now I gotta hope I get the first dice over here. Or these guys are gonna be uh, point blank to the heavy egg. <laughs> <laughs> They, hey, uh, they are staring down a little <laughs> bit of firepower. <laughs> charge. I'm going to charge if I get the dice. Okay, another you got one of the mine. Die. Hmm. <laughs> I'll put my AT gun down. 
And I will bring in your last thing is your officer. Sherman and Timotei are going to get out with their SMGs. They're in point blank, right? So just needing twos. Ah, three hits. Oh man, needing fives. Oh wait a minute. Oh yeah, never mind. I was thinking these guys needed fives to die. He rolled a f two sixes or a five and a six when he rolled on them. Uh, five and a six. Okay, I think. then that's two. So, rolling, re-rolling the six. So, so you got another five and a six? Yeah. yeah. Oh man. Uh, that's fifty percent of them dead too. And another pin. And another pin. That was a bad, bad idea to bring them in. And they, they're out. Oh wait, hang on, hang on. Travis, Travis. What? You said that was fifty percent. That was just two dudes. You got three left. Oh. Okay, yeah. never mind you that. You never made that roll. <laughs> Quit cheating. I'm not cheating anymore. So we're at the two <laughs> pins now. And three guys. So my plan to attack with the anti-tank grenades is not going to work. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything left? Uh, I don't think so. All right, so move on to turn four. I need a green dice here, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got more dice than me. I'm going to have Shevlin do anything. Come on. Yeah. And there it is. All right, and I got two pins though, right? Yep. Okay, I got to pass a two pin order with the veteran squad. Come on, guys. Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay, I'm down to one pin. Hmm, it's time to assault. <laughs> Shevlin and his uh, two guys are charging into Vesterman and Timoteo. Oh, uh, the red is going to be the tough fighter. Come on, I need fours here. Come on, two fours. I got uh, one, but it's the tough fighter. Is it? Is it? It's the tough fighter. Come on, Shevlin, take him down. Yeah. Got him. Timoteo and his boys are down. Or his boy. I'm sorry, Vesterman and Timoteo are down, so consolidation. Oh, yeah. Wow. All right, so uh, what's left of Shevlin's squad wiped out Vesterman and Timoteo. They've moved up here, and as Andre just reminded us, we've been forgetting Tiger Fear, but you know what? We're not even going to bother with it. We don't like the rule. <laughs> this is our, this is the nerd cave. We're ignoring it. Although, it, if anything was going to ever have it, it would be this. Yeah. Not a Panzer IV. But, <laughs> the whole mission was to go destroy the Tiger. Yeah. So it's that's not a, like you didn't know it was there. You knew you were going to go out. You knew you were going to assault it. So you are impervious rule. to Tiger Fear in this mission. Yes. Special rule for this exact, this particular mission, impervious to Tiger Fear. Thank you, Andre. Uh, oh, hey, it's the Tiger. I liked it better when you were sitting right there. <laughs> <laughs> nope. So these guys are over here. They have anti-tank grenades, but there's only three of them. Um, even if I roll the six and I got all hits, I, I can only get a nine. So there's nothing <laughs> I could possibly do. Well, I think you hit on the top, which would give me a plus. I still can't do anything to it. I would need at least four guys, I think, to take it down with anti-tank grenades. So Anyway, uh, it's the Tiger Dice. Here, out of fuel is going to fire its cannon at these guys and they're going to go down. So you would have been needing a three. Four, five. Now you're needing a five. Okay. Oh! Oh, you got it. It's a three inch template. We'll figure it out. Hit eight guys, but I did go down, so I'm going to take half of that. And it's plus three. They're only regular, so anything but. So four down. Okay, and then D three pins, I believe. Oh man, three more pins and then four dead. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll take these four guys out. And then I'll add three pins to my one. So I'm up to four pins now. <laughs> yeah, those guys got hammered. All right, next guy. Yeah, Seabald squad just got nailed by a uh, super heavy anti-tank shell. Ambush. So back to ambush with that machine gun over there. Uh, Americans. So I've had my light mortar move up into the ruins here, and we're gonna fire at uh, the squad in in the ruins there. Need a six. It's not a six. Okay, next day. Americans. Okay, man. Brandon Woods and his veterans have moved into the crater, and we're gonna. Put some fire on this house here. Hopefully I get a pin. That's what I'm looking for here. Need a six. Got three sixes. 
And they're regular, so if I can take one down, it'd be nice. And you did. Two down. Two down. What? Two dead and a pin. Not bad. Not bad. And it's only an eight-man squad, too, so that is going to be helpful. So good job to Woods and his boys for putting some fire on those guys. And a pin, huh? And a pin. So next die. Give me another green die here. There we go. Okay. Uh, who is this? That is Bossman. He's going to move up and do the same thing, I think. Bossman and his regulars have moved up, and we're going to fire our 13 shots back here again. And again, needing sixes. So. Come on, Bossman. At least get a few. All right, Woo. got three again. Not bad. Or five. Or five. Or fives. Oh, fives. Right, How many sixes? Three. I think you got four dice in your hand. Oops. Come on, let's take someone down. Got another one and another pin. So that's three dead. So really putting a hammer in on that uh, squad in the building there, which is nice. That'll clear us to move around here and take some shots onto that uh, tiger over there. Next, uh, next die there, Andre. American. Campbell and his bazooka team have run out there. There's really not a whole lot else we can do. We got to get over there and start shooting at this thing. So next die, another American die. Wow. So my, my other bazooka, I think if I bring him in over there, that MG42 is going to gun him down. Um, I still have my M10. I still got Downs, the lone RTO over here. Um, you know what? Downs is going to advance up into here. And we're going to take a shot. See if we can put a pin on your, uh, on your gun. <laughs> can you measure that? I think it might be in range. Uh, That'd be kind of cool. Like it's with, uh, 24. Yep, you got it. All right. By an inch. So Downs, with his M1 carbine and his radio, are going to fire at that gun. I'm assuming you need a six. No move, but long range hardcover. Come on, Downs, be the hero. I can't oh. see it. <laughs> it's a six. Yes, uh, so you got a gun shield. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's nothing but a pin, but hey, good job, Downs. Wow. Downs has what put a, a pin onto the gun. Uh, got ambush on it still. I was going to say, I could have uh, shot uh, him with the ambush, but... You were saving it for the uh, bazooka. bazooka, but he's out of your arc. Which, uh, yeah, I'm not really sure why I... I don't think I quite got that I only had a 90 degree arc there. Well, remember at the end of the turn on a 4 plus, you can do That's a fire order. That's why I'm not uh, okay. firing now. All right, another German dice or American dice. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna try to bring in my 57 mil AT gun. He's coming in. 57 mil uh, under um, Stotzenberg has come on here. Next die. These guys are. There's still a threat. He's still got everything over there. He still has a lot of stuff left. I can't pull a die though. Uh, another American die. Oh, my M10 can do something. Running it up in the open yeah. after your other partner's my, got gunned down. My lone machine gunner here is out for revenge. He's moved up here. I was gonna fire, but then I would have been sevens because I was long range with one guy in hard cover. So forget it. He just advanced. Maybe he can do a pin next time if he's lucky. Next die. Hey, there's a German hey. nice. All tier is turned. And he's gonna fire here at Campbell's guys, needing fives. Oh no, two. he got two. Oh boy, this could I be only it for needed Campbell. Two. Oh, he oh. didn't get him. He did not get him. To whiff. To whiff. But he did put a pin on him. That was I was looking for more than a pin there. Okay. Germans again. again. This guy's in the building past their order. He's got a machine gun and two assault rifles are going to fire at, uh, I'm assuming, the AT gun. Yep. So it's going to be just fours? Oh, it'll be, no, the machine gun will be fours because of the pin, and then the assault rifles are over nine, over half, so they're going to be uh, fives. Okay. Here we go. So what's what here? So this is the machine gun. Machine gun. So four machine, four machine gun hits. 
And no. nothing from the assault rifles. Okay, and I got the gun shield, so I'm uh, up to fives now to kill. Nothing. Only got uh, one. I got one in a pin. But the pin might help. Oh, the pins always help. They do. All right, next die. So one pin on the gun and a dead guy. Okay. Americans. What do I even have left here? Oh, my M10 still. Uh, do I have anything else? Oh, my other, my <laughs> my other bazooka, <laughs> which I don't want to bring in because of the stupid machine gun. Um. I think that's it, right? Do I only have this one and one more? One more. Yeah. So it's my M10 and my bazooka. All right. Well, I guess the M10 is going to have to. We're going to have to just be aggressive and do something with it. All right, while Bill and his uh, tank have moved up here, I was going to run, but then there's a bunch of Panzerfaust in those squads. So I moved up uh, an advance, and I'm going to fire at the guys in the in there. So I need a six. That's not a six. Not, not really. Okay, next die. It's an anti-six. German. Okay. So you still got those two squads, and I think that's it, right? No, I got two more dice. Um, so one for the tank. Oh, the tank's got another one. And okay. Um, oh, you did. You never took one out for uh, your officer. Oh. So take one out for him. He's dead. Okay. All right. So Andre's Andre's turn. Now the squad in the ruins went on ambush. And oh, uh, that's my poor bazooka who can't come in. Sure, he can. Now I got two things ambushed. Yeah, he'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> he'll go down. And That's Martin Kirk. He's no idiot. I got the last two. <laughs> okay, so the last two are going to be your tank and then the squad on the ground here. Uh, the second order dice for the Tiger, he's going to fire over here again at Seabald squad. Needing the five because he's still down. No, oh, no, not again. <laughs> oh, God. Poor Seabald. Yeah, am I going to be able to hit eight of them again, though? We're getting three of them because they're down. That's cool. Only three. Uh, three dead and D three more pins. <laughs> Holy crap! They're up to seven pins. Hey Rick, we got problems. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of the way of the damn tiger! We found two. the tiger. How many did you kill? Four. Three. Three. All right. Yeah, their tiger's right there, guys. And do you have anything left? Oh, these guys. So they have a pin. So pass an order. Or fail in order. Pass or fail. Nice. Pass or fail. They pass. Okay. The squad is going to move up and they're going to um, take a shot over here at Campbell's guys. Campbell and his buddy. So uh, five for the machine gun. Five for the. Yeah, we'll count them up. Oh, these fives, damn it. Let's roll it right <laughs> Fives. Fives all around. <laughs> uh, One, three, two, three. Four shot. Uh, four hits. Okay. Uh, needing fours to take them down. You should get it. Come on, Campbell Duck. The odds are good. Yeah. Campbell and his bazooka team have been killed. So we'll take out one dice for them. Oh boy. Okay. Is that it? Uh, now I roll to see if my uh, gun can shoot. Gun can swing around. Nope. Nope. Okay. So now it's the end of the turn. Here we go. It's getting late for me to try to kill this thing. I don't think it's going to happen. I haven't even shot at it yet. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of yours, okay. Pass the order with his light. How is going to take a shot here? Indirect or direct? I'm assuming direct. Direct. Okay. I think all he needs is a th three? Yeah, I think you might have hit with that. Damn. Because, yeah, I'm in the open. And what yeah. are we calling that? Twenty-two inches. Yeah, you're, yeah, it's just a three. So, wow, two-inch template. So you get two of them. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's two dead. Um, wait, yeah, you're a plus two. Yeah, still, because I'm only a four, but I'm a five, so you need threes. So they're they're all dead. They had lost one earlier, so the oh, gun wow. is killed. Damn. Well, there goes my any chance. Well, the only chance I have is this thing. I don't ever get through all those uh, Panzerfausts. Well, uh, <laughs> actually, you do get. I mean, I'm not on ambush yet. Yeah. Yeah, I have to do it now. 
Like, now is my only chance. <laughs> well, that's why they call him Wild Bill, right? I love the opening. <laughs> All right, Wild Bill. Really, I mean, because my only chance is this thing. I have one bazooka off the board. That probably won't get a shot off. It might. It might. It might, but... Um, all right, I better just do this. All right, so Wild Bill's moved up, but he's got two uh, Panzerfausts in there that can fire. He's got, uh, looks like two hits. Two, two double, yeah, he's screwed. <laughs> Damn. All right, well, that's probably game. So it's pretty much over. Um, my only other hope would be to get those guys back there Go over here, fire at the machine gun, and then I could bring my bazooka in, like, way the hell up here. Oh, you want to try that? Uh, well, I just want to see if Wild Bill would have hit. No, he would have missed. <laughs> 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 so those guys back there, who is that, uh, Shevlin? So he could have moved up six, put some fire on that machine gun, and then I could have tried to bring my bazooka in and got a rear shot, because I can come in... 24 more than half so I could come in behind it. So that's 12 off of the end. You're... Pretty much, yeah. Uh, so that would have, if I could have, I probably would have got a pin onto the machine gun. Yeah. And then I'll you would have been that. hitting on maybe fives. So you would have, and then I might have got a pin on me. So it would have been, I still, I still would have had to get, you're still, a, I well, would have got a plus two from behind. Oh, because I, I, Lost this ambush too. I was thinking I had two ambushes, but no. I don't. I've just got this one. All right. Uh, we'll just call it. So we'll come back and wrap it up. All right. So at the end of the game, um, my fear that I gave, I left the Germans too much. I gave them too much. Yep. What? That was my biggest fear. It's like, okay, how do I? I don't want to leave them too little, but I didn't know if I was giving them too much because the second order dice on the on the tank. The tank's 500 points. Yeah. So I don't know if a second order dice is 500 more points, or how, like what would that equate to? There was a 57 point difference in the two forces. I think it probably should have been more like 100 at least. Yeah. The uh, the second dice on the uh, tiger didn't assist me that much. Not not uh, no. Well, you've got two. I got two, <laughs> two rounds on that squad. Yeah, but that was really the only net effect of that second die through the whole game. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just, I think I gave the Germans too much. I think dropping them a full squad and just having two squads and the machine gun and the cannon and the tank. Or the main thing would be don't even let it move. Yeah. Make it sit here and just turn its turret back and forth. E let even the if, Americans come around and then try to get side shots on it. Even if it was just sitting there, this would have been a hell of a difficult uh, Oh, I knew, it was gonna, I knew it was going to be hard. I don't have anything that can take it down. Well, I would need a six... I would need to hit and then get a six to penetrate from the front with this. Yeah. And that's the thing. Getting around on the side is just way too difficult because by the time you get down here and outflank, I've got guys sitting there in ambush waiting for yeah. you, and your odds of even getting a hit are so slim at that point. Well, I never thought I was going to destroy it. <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I never thought I was going to actually make it. You did think you were actually going to get a shot at it, though. I thought I was going to at least get a couple bazooka shots and an M10 <sighs> shot on it. I never expected to destroy it. I thought maybe I might get a glancing hit and set it on fire and make the crew run off or something. That'd be sweet. But, yeah, I think the problem with this mission is that I left, I gave the Germans too much stuff. Yeah. Three squads was a squad too many. Like, if you didn't have this squad, yeah. then I could have really just came you around here well, and then yeah, got kind of, in a position. I still would have had to kept that squad, squad over there. Well, if I was stuck in the middle, though, then... I'd uh, had a lot more of a dilemma on deployment. Yeah. So, uh, to make this mission better, I would just say that the tank was immobilized here. Can't move at all. Because once you moved it, that the whole premise of the mission just went, went away. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, what's the point of outflanking over here if the tank's way over there? It's... Then my idea was I was going to come in on both sides and get some shots on it, but as soon as you moved, it's like, okay, these guys are never going to get a shot on it. So it's going to be up to those guys. One bazooka and one squad of veteran infantry with AT rifle or AT grenades. They're not going to get it done. So, Well, yeah. they, they might have had a shot at it, but you took the, uh, the swing at the uh, 
squad over there instead of the tank. Yeah, there's too many squad. There's two squads to my one. Yeah. I mean, I was outnumbered on top of having to kill the tiger. <laughs> so yeah. So the main thing is, if you ever want to play this, I think this mission would be fun if you we drop the German squads by one and immobilize the tank. Can't move. Yeah. Um, and it just has to survive for six turns. Yeah, because it was way too easy. I mean, the second it moved, that was the end of the mission. In terms of you know tactical plays, I could have made it a lot more difficult for Travis on this. Oh yeah, I, I could have made it completely <laughs> impossible. He could have um, just backed up here, and then that would be the game because I could never, I I could never kill it from the front. Yeah, and well, that was kind of what I you know I'm like, so I'm parked here and. It's, uh, yeah, um, how do you come at that? You can't. You put it on ambush, I've got... Well, I mean, you could try to come this way, but then but there's a squad But all of here. this is blocking line yeah. of sight, so you'd have to get all the way up into here. Yeah. The bottom line is, was the Germans had too much stuff, and the tank moving made it too hard. So, if we ever play this again, which we should, uh, definitely a mobile tank and one less German squad. And then the Americans might have at least get a couple of bazooka shots on it. Yeah. Not saying that it will destroy it, but at least we'll get something on it. Well, and my rolling was uh, not... I got zero shots on the tank at all. I was uh, hitting some shots that uh, weren't necessarily easy to. Yeah. Well, you live and learn. That's what happens. Um, we don't play test stuff before we play it. I mean, we don't oh, have that I much time. Oh, I thought this was the playtest. <laughs> this is the playtest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if we had a lot more time, if we did this full time for a living, we would have playtested it, learned all this, and then came back and played the game for the, the channel. But sadly, we have to do these things for the channel. So, But hey, consider this a playtest. If you ever want to play this mission, now you know what to do. So anyway, that'll do it for this one. Uh, thanks to Andre. Thanks to all the, uh, all the um, live streamers and Lily. Is she still awake? She's probably... Uh, <laughs> she better be in bed. She's a four-year-old girl who uh, likes to watch tabletop CP. Believe it or not. <laughs> or her dad does. So she likes to be with her dad and watch tabletop CP, which is cool. So we're happy to hear that, that we got some young fans and some future gamers coming up. So uh, maybe one day when uh, Lily's old enough to play and she tries this mission out, she'll remember <laughs> what to do. <laughs> so anyway... Uh, Sorry for the uh, kind of a lame ass game, but you know it happens. That's what happens. We don't know how it's going to work out until we play it, and now we know. So, um, yeah. And with that, we'll say uh, thanks for watching. Check out our Facebook group page and check out our uh, Patreon if you want to be in a game like this. I know the Americans didn't do very well, but uh, some of them, uh, Shevlin over there, did really well. He took down uh, he took down Vesterman and Timoteo at least. And, and he uh, got to the and he tank. got to the tiger, but sadly he only had three guys left. Okay, tank, you're it. <laughs> yep, jump on. Okay, yeah. Anyway, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.